blood. Sometimes it sets my teeth on edge. Other times it helps me control the chaos. This is Michael C. Hall, a celebrated actor of stage and screen who's garnered critical acclaim for his performances as funeral director David Fisher on Six Feet Under, ah! and as serial killer Dexter Morgan in Dexter, which returned with a much-anticipated limited series, Dexter New Blood. I'm a serial killer. Oh, oh, that feels so amazing to say out loud. Michael's first on-screen role was in an episode of the soap opera As the World Turns, as an assistant cameraman working with a snobby TV host. Limos are not in our budget, Molly. I know that much. After many off-Broadway productions, Michael made his Broadway debut replacing Alan Cumming as the master of ceremonies in a revival production of Cabaret. Cabaret, oh Cabaret, oh Cabaret. The production was staged by director Sam Mendez, who recommended Michael for the role of David Fisher on Six Feet Under. Other kids my age were going to frat parties. I was draining corpses and refashioning severed ears out of wax. After his father dies, David takes up the mantle of his family-owned funeral home and has to deal with all the messy business that goes along with it. Although the show is darkly funny with a good amount of morbid humor, conversations with dead loved ones, and bombastic fantasy sequences, David's closeted homosexuality was a crucial part of his arc. During a time when it was rare to see a nuanced gay relationship on television, David's on-again, off-again romance with his partner Keith was a radical departure. During his run on Six Feet Under, Michael made Ben Affleck sweat profusely in the thriller Paycheck. We're getting something here. But that performance was just a bloodslide compared to the massacre he left in his wake as Dexter Morgan in Dexter. For eight seasons, Michael masqueraded as a blood spatter analyst and fully functional human being, while secretly feeding a compulsion to bring vigilante justice to the dregs of society. I'm gonna kill you tonight for what you did to my mother. Michael's roles during and after Dexter had similar dark themes. In Gamer, he played the eccentric brainchild of a violent video game in which players control live humans in combat. He brought some unexpected real violence to an elaborate game in Game Night. Hold still while I cut your stomach open. Oh, no, no, no. And he was partly responsible for the unlawful torture of detained terrorists in The Report. The darkness took hold of Netflix as well, when Michael starred in the Netflix miniseries Safe as a widowed surgeon investigating the disappearance of his teenage daughter. My daughter's missing. But every once in a while, Michael would pop up like an old friend, dropping by the set of The Crown to play JFK. Good evening, your royal majesty. And he showcased his subtle comedic timing as a sweet, awkward, professional bowler in an episode of Documentary Now. You know, when I'm on TV, I just try to project a positive image. And of course, fans of Dexter were thrilled to hear about Michael's return as Dexter Morgan in Dexter New Blood. Oh, is he there? <laughs> what is the problem? Yeah, I kind of have a thing about blood. After a career highlighted by two characters that are polar opposites of each other, Michael C. Hall continues to be celebrated as an incredibly versatile performer who can bring that little hint of charm to anything, no matter how sinister. 